Force Demon was nice enough to drive up from Florida today uh, and install a floating wetland um, for the public works pond. And so this is going to uh, help suck up any excess nutrients that are there, uh, especially from the geese. You might have noticed the geese in the background, so they're putting a lot of extra nutrients that aren't usually here uh, into the water system. So he's brought up 421 plants, uh, various species, and that's going to help. Um, like I said, I think he's, he mentioned the roots grow 12 to 24 inches down, so uh, they'll be absorbing all those nutrients um, and also provide some habitat for um, birds that uh, can, can stop down on the edge of the mat um, and maybe search for insects or you know take a break. So uh, we're really excited he came out here. Uh, After time, these plants will grow very tall and big and kind of be a puffball. And when you turn them over, the roots will have grown out of all these little holes. And you will see a root mass underneath these plants up to 20, 24 inches deep. Most on average, they're about 12 to 15 inches deep though. Um, but you'll have a massive root uh, system underneath and a massive uh, shoot system on top. So the island itself won't be detectable after a few months. All the plants will have grown up and matured and covered up so there'll be no um, sunlight hitting the, the mats after a while. I like to put a small grass along the outside borders because all of your wading birds, such as herons, egrets, um, and small turtles, frogs, um, hopefully not too many geese, will use this as a platform to walk and sun themselves, dry their wings. They can, uh, without having to go into the interior to trample too many tall plants that we're trying to get to survive, turf grasses naturally can be uh, stomped on and cut and, and trampled without uh, killing them. These are a lot more resilient plants so we like to have a small um, plant along the outside to help with that. Also it's aesthetically pleasing. It acts as a, uh, a, a nice visual border to the island. It kind of frames it in. We start off with the smallest possible plants we can. Uh, smallest relative to survivability. We need them to survive so it's a moderate um, it's a relative term. We, we like to start off with as little biomass as possible so that the potential is that that plant will take up a lot of nutrients and grow into a large plant. So we like the potential from a small plant to a big plant. Um, we call that biomass. Uh, we're trying to accumulate as much biomass as possible. With more biomass that should equal more nutrient uptake. So that's our ultimate goal is to take up as much nutrients per plant as possible. <laughs> So this will be a little unique in that, from a sitting position, throwing over two cinder blocks might, yeah, might be a paddleboard, right? Compared to my paddleboard, which I just slide, you know, I can just kind of lean over and dump them off. So we're gonna see how this works. So stormwater ponds are all over Richland County, really all over everywhere. <laughs> And uh, this site that we have here can be used as one of our training sessions or a, demonstra a demonstration site for one of our many training sessions that we have for uh, landscapers, homeowners, HOAs, pond managers. Uh, it's a way for them to see an option for them to control, control a nutrient problem or um, improve the general water quality of their pond and also have a nice aesthetic <laughs> uh, addition to their pond. Uh, last December, we worked with Public Works and we put in a shorescaping project out here. And so that's a demonstration site just for the public who are you know, taking a walk around here just to see ways that you can uh, manage these stormwater ponds without chemical means, um, just using natural native vegetation uh, to filter out any runoff, any um, erosion problems, you know, using just what nature has given you to um, help prevent further degra uh, degradation of any ecosystem. So uh, this is just in addition to that. And so this is gonna be used as a demonstration site um, and hopefully we'll be able to bring people by. Uh, just an example of what they can do in their own stormwater ponds, uh, again, without using any chemical means.